If you have a desire to change what you're doing for any reason, that calls for a possible pivot. Every YouTuber has a lifespan. I would say that has to be true. A creative pivot is a fancy word for changing your content, for changing direction. When I started on YouTube, I did sketch comedy and played every single character, did everything myself because no one would help me, and that pivoted to short films when people wanted to help, challenges when my audience was growing, vlogs when I got bored from that, and now tutorials to be able to give back to my audience. Some of the reasons that I've pivoted in my personal career are if you get burnt out of doing one type of content, if one type of content just isn't being received by an audience, all the way to being bored and just wanting to try something else with your life. Welcome to my studio. This is where I create everything. I first realized it was time to pivot when I was making short films and when I wanted to focus on my YouTube channel, I realized that I had to be making content more frequently than once every two months. So I decided to do the opposite and create a video every single day. That's a pivot. <laughs> so my goal was to actually just stop thinking about creating and create every day. In terms of views, it didn't blow up my channel overnight, but it did position me very well with brands. So I don't think my channel would be as strong today if I hadn't made the decision to pivot to blogging. Before you pivot, you wanna look at what your audience is into, your own personal motivations, where's your career going, what do you want to create, and maybe most importantly, is there a market for what you're trying to create? And if there is, how do you get to them? When you pivot content, it's not just about changing your content for your audience. It's you're creating new content for a new audience. You're just bringing a lot of your old audience with you. There's so many ways that you can break down what you're doing. There's analytics, there's comments. You might not look at comments the way you'd initially think. You're not looking for comments to say, yes, I'm excited about this, or no, I don't want that. You're looking for the constructive comments. You're looking for the people that say, I really enjoyed this video, but if that is kind of rippled throughout your audience, you can build from that. The way I've found to better increase my chances of a successful pivot come down to creating a six month or a one year plan so that I don't have the time in the middle ground to cheat myself. I will see it through even if it runs my channel into the ground because I've made that choice. And then honestly, believing in your pivot more than anyone else so that your enthusiasm can get other people interested and excited. People don't know why they like something, so you need to tell them why they will. Growing pains can be extremely hard, especially if they don't go the direction you intended them to. When I pivoted from doing challenges with my friends to short films, in my mind, my momentum would stay the same, yet I would be introducing my audience to a higher level of content. They didn't want that higher level of content. So when I switched, they were like, well, this isn't what we wanted, and I, I, my channel then stopped growing. But I've also done pivots to get out of situations like that. At one point, I was in this weird black hole where every time I'd upload, I would lose exactly a thousand subscribers. But on days that I didn't, I would grow. So I became a little fearful to upload, and I lost the power as a creator of my own platform. And that's when I decided to pivot to daily vlogging, which had the risk of losing people. I ended up losing 76,000, but at some point it did stop losing, and I got my power back of my own channel. I would say the hardest thing about pivoting is you don't know if it's gonna work. It's a risk, and it's not even a 50-50 risk. You're taking what has traditionally worked and changing it. So you really got a plan and you got to figure out how you're going to make it work in your long-term strategy. But then again, not pivoting is an equally as big risk. It's change, it's uncomfortable. You know? What could go wrong, the, the extremes that you could lose your channel, you, you could alienate yourself from a community, you could uh, just kind of lose loyalty. But then again, do you really want to create content for an audience that doesn't really understand who you are? Do you, do you want to live a lie? Um, answers usually no. Just follow your compass. It's, I'm sure that's on a coffee mug somewhere. But for real, just follow your heart. Follow what you want to do. Because that's what I've done and I couldn't possibly be happier.